Over the next few minutes, we will show you the steps to terminate an employee, to process a final pay run, and to generate a record of employment in SAGE, HR, and payroll. If an employee no longer works with the company, they need to be terminated in the system. The process involves terminating the employee, processing their last pay run, and preparing a record of employment. In the app selector, select HR to terminate the employee. Open the company page. Then, select the employee. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Then, click Terminate. Indicate the employee's last working day. Then, select a reason for the termination. In this case, the employee quit. Enter additional comments as needed. Then, click Terminate. We can now return to Payroll to complete the next steps. If we select Employee from the left side menu, we notice that the status for this employee indicates Pending Termination or Process Final Pay Run. This status will be updated once their final pay run has been processed. If the employee being terminated has a vacation owed balance, you may want to pay this balance during their final pay run. Before processing the pay run, review the last employee's pay stub to write down the amount. In this case, this employee only has a vacation owed amount of $20. Then select Pay Run to process the employee's final pay run. Click Process Pay Run. A note indicates the employee's status. Click the employee to review their final pay details. Adjust the hours worked as needed. In this case, the employee has worked 64 hours in their final pay period. Scroll down and review the amount of vacation earned this period. To calculate the final amount of vacation owed, add the vacation owed after the last pay run to the vacation earned on this pay run minus the vacation already paid during this pay run if applicable. This amount can then be entered as vacation paid out. If this earning is not readily available, click Add Earnings and select it in the drop-down menu. Enter the amount of vacation owed and click Save Payment. Click Save and return to the employee list. Review and complete the pay run as you normally would. Let's click Close. If we select Employee again, you can see that the status has been updated to Terminated. Finally, to generate a record of employment, select Submissions. Here, click Record of Employment Files. Click New ROE. Then, select the employee or employees for which you're creating a record of employment. Click Next. On this page, confirm your CRA business number, as well as the first day worked and last day for which paid, which populate automatically based on information from payruns. Enter a reason for issuing the record of employment. You may also click View to review and edit the employee's personal information, including their SIN number and their address. Click Generate to generate the record of employment. The ROE files are being generated. This may take a few minutes. Once completed, click the submission to access the files. On this page, click View Employees to view the list of employees, Last Day Paid, and Reason for Issuing ROE. Click Download ROE XML file to download the file to submit to the ROE web portal. Finally, this link allows you to access the ROE web portal to file ROEs electronically with the downloaded XML file. Congratulations! You now know how to terminate an employee, process a final pay run, and generate a record of employment in Sage HR and Payroll.